Hey everyone, today I'm excited to take you on an exclusive journey aboard ANA 787 Business Class flying from Shanghai to Tokyo. Join me as we explore the experience of traveling between two of Asia's busiest cities. My journey begins with a security check just to enter the departure terminal at Pudong Airport. <laughs> Nothing comes easy. ANA service counters are located in row D with a separate lane for Diamond members and business class passengers. The counters open roughly 2 hours before departure, which I think is a bit tight. Check-in takes a bit longer than I anticipated. There's a seatmate of today's 787 Dodge available in case anyone wants to switch seats at the last minute. After check-in, I headed to security without priority access. Despite being early morning and PVG not appearing too busy, I still recommend arriving early as the security line moves very slowly. ANA and Star Alliance members share Air China's lounge near gate 71, accommodating both first and business class passengers. The lounge, designed to host guests from numerous airlines, is spread across two levels. When I arrived, the first floor had plenty of open seats and an empty liquor bar. Breakfast is served on the second floor, so let's head up and check it out. All the food is served buffet style in the center of the second floor, offering a good mix of Western and Chinese options. For example, at the Hofu counter, you will find dishes like fried rice, scrambled eggs, baked beans, and sausage links. Each pot features a card with detailed allergen information. If you are in the mood for something different, there are also several made-to-order noodle soups available. Unlike the first floor, the dining area here is quite busy. It's clear why the staff are active restocking, including desserts and fruits, as these items tend to run out quickly. As the boarding time approaches, and I'll be having another meal on the flight, I'll just grab a few items here to sample. By the way, various drinks like soda, beer, and water are available in the fridge for you to grab. I also ordered a bowl of Sichuan spicy noodles, which took about 10 minutes to prepare. It looks good, but honestly, it's not very spicy and it's extremely salty. Definitely an item to avoid. The second floor provides ample seating options. You can unwind in the movie room or take in a scenic view from a window side seat. I used the shower facility before heading to my boarding gate. Although all essential toiletries are provided, the room is quite cramped and doesn't include a place to sit. I had to stand while changing my socks since the room lacks seating. The facility seems a bit outdated with poor ventilation. The shower room also becomes quite hot after use. Having explored nearly every feature of the Air China Lounge, I'm now heading to boarding gate D85. And here's a view of the runway featuring an all Nippon Airways Boeing 787-8. Boarding is about to begin, and I can't wait to leave Shanghai. The weather has been terrible lately, non-stop rain every day.
はようございます。Here's my seat, 7A by the left window. This 787 Dodge A has 184 seats in total, with 32 business class seats arranged in a one-to-one -one layout. The seat matches A and A's blue color scheme, and there's a full table next to each one. You will find an adjustable reading light and all the useful buttons here. This one adjusts the backrest, and down here are more controls for reclining, positioning, and more. The IFE control is also there, but it's not very responsive because the equipment is a bit old. You can lower the left armrest to get a bit more sitting space. The 17-inch touchscreen TV feels pretty small these days, but on the plus side, you get a large storage space underneath the foot chest. It's a very full flight today, especially during the busy summer travel season to Japan. People are taking advantage of the current low value of the yen. We are delayed right now due to the bad weather, but hopefully we'll be on our way soon. The power plug and USB port are below the TV screen, and the same goes for one of the largest tray tables you will find in any business class flight. The flight attendant served me a glass of champagne before the meal service. Today's choices are Japanese style braised pork belly or Western style satay salmon. I chose the latter. Here's the starter with dark rice, shrimp, and avocado, followed by the main dish of salmon. Everything comes on a big tray. It's not a huge portion of food, but considering this is just a three-hour flight, it's acceptable. Taste-wise, the cold starter is better than the salmon. The sausage, shrimp, and dark rice are just okay, but the avocado salad is actually good. The salmon is too dry, and even the dipping sauce can't save it. This is the business class bathroom setup. He has a small tray of toiletry products, and the flight attendant kept it clean all the time. Space-wise, it's very small, similar to the one in economy. By the way, this seat can be converted into a 180 degree lie flat bed, which is much more useful for a long haul flight. Now descending into Tokyo, the weather seems just as bad as Shanghai. No escaping the rain for me this time.
ったままお待ちください。物入れを開けた時に手荷物が滑り出る恐れがありますのでお気をつけください。この先、電波を発する電子機器もご使用になれますが、携帯電話での通話は代わりのお客様のご迷惑になりますのでお控えください。飛行機は第2ターミナル。Even though this ANA business class isn't the newest product, it's great for a short haul flight. You still get a live flight back seat with decent privacy. The service and cleanliness are top notch. I definitely say it's better choice to fly with ANA on this route. Hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. See you next time.